this be the witch? Why have you been following me? Just wondering what you want from him, from Graham. Me? Didn't want nothing. It's his mother be worried about him. Been locked in his hut since he came back from the aisle. Thoughts to know so. Love's misery curdled his brains, I reckon. Oh. I want to talk. You deaf, damn it! I told you. Who are you? I've been to the island. I know what happened there. What do you want of me? Want to talk to you about Annabelle? Annabelle? What can you know about her? I met her. Talked to her. Annabelle's dead. Drank poison. And I... I couldn't save her. Did you love her? Oi. Something mad. Loved her so deep I believed we'd come through, believed we'd be together. Of course. It was not to her father's liking. His daughter and a plain loat. What happened on Fike Isle? You gotta tell me. Twere Millie, Finch and Faulkner. They rallied the men, all roughs, to go to the Isle, take back what was ours from the noble. They knew I was known at the tower, that the Lord's servants would open the gate for me as soon as I sold them fish. They forced you to go with them? No, I... I saw my chance in it. For Annabelle and me to flee. But... It all spun in a chaos. Our boys from the village, they started killing everyone. Annabelle, they wanted to rape! For then she drank the poison. Mage must have gave it her. I ran out the tower hollering that I wanted to die, cursing them all to hell. Don't force me to speak of it. No more, please. It wasn't poison. Annabelle drank a strong sleeping potion. Mage wanted to protect her, make it look like she was dead convinced everyone but that means is she you said you spoke to her spoke to her ghost by the time she awoke tower was full of cold corpses and rats she was warm meat rats ate her alive you mean she was alive the whole time but it can't be she was cold all through like a corpse I shook her, begged to open your eyes. I never thought... Annabelle needs you. Her soul will only find peace if you help her. But... What can I do? It's too late. Bury her bones. Annabelle should be laid to rest by one who loved her. It's the only way to lift the curse that holds Fike Isle. Those are... Her bones? Yes. Give them here. Leave me be. She's free.
Just when I was starting to miss you. Fike Isle's free of its curse. And you withheld this news until now? Why? I gave you a Xenovox. But the curse, what was its source? The dark spell clung to the spirit of Annabelle, the Lord's daughter. To free her and the Isle, Graham, her beloved, had to help me. So it ended well. Mm. I lifted the curse so the island's clear. Annabelle's soul is free. Thing is, turned out she's a pesta. Graham's dead. And you fail to notice? You're losing your touch. Be that as it may, Fike Isle is free of its curse. That's important. I'm almost inclined to say good work. The lamp. What do you want to do with it? As I said, you may keep it. I don't believe I shall need it anymore, given the Isle's been cleansed. I actually regret not going there with you. Perhaps we can make up for that lost time now. One thing's bothering me. What? Annabelle said Alexander was studying diseases. She mentioned Catriona. You knew this? All the mages knew about it. Alexander was a highly regarded epidemiologist. I would have given anything for an opportunity to study his notes, but he guarded them jealously. All right. Time I was on my way. Perhaps... perhaps you'd stay just a bit longer? There's one small favor you might yet do for me. What is it? I put in an order for a few substances from Novigrad. The trader was due to be here yesterday, but has yet to arrive. Could you see what happened? The package is rather important to me. Got it all wrong, Kira. I'm not your errand boy. Oh, you're definitely no boy. You're a strong, poised witcher who will surely help a woman in need. Can't promise you anything, but I'll let you know if I run into him. That is all I ask. Any news of your sisters from the Lodge? None. We can't know too much about one another these days. It's safer that way. Even tried to contact one another? I've wanted to many times. But I've no way of knowing who would answer. Or who might be listening. See you, Kira.
ask a service of the Witcher, the Pella must. A witcherly service, that's to say. What do you need? Tell me. A man who fears no evil, the Pella needs. Forefather's Eve is nigh. We've rites to conduct. Wandering souls to emerge. Damned souls, too. We've the circle to protect from these wretches. Why hold the ritual at all? At times men die choking with regret. At times death takes them before they've tasted any bitterness in life. These poor souls, unfulfilled, cannot leave this veil of tears. Their spirits wander midst the living, must be judged, sent on their way. This we do on Forefather's Eve. Can't help you just now. But we alone cannot keep evil at bay. There's a war on. Men's blood soaks the earth. The damned are it, wander in great numbers. Ponder it. The Pella will pay ye. Should ye need him, the Pella in his hut ye'll find. Let's go! Wide, heavy wheels. Merchant's wagon. and traveling across Velen alone. No way that was gonna end well. Leftovers, cuts of meat, cut of lepus. Into what spell requires that? Human, from an artery. Can't be far, wouldn't have made it. Package still intact. 
Don't sense anything magic, though. Wonder how Kira will explain this one. Just when I was starting to miss you. Got those, uh, substances you wanted? Splendid. I can finally begin my study of double arboreal racination patterns. But first, I'll... Brew yourself a mug of mulled wine? Saw what the wagon was carrying. Exquisite meats, expensive wines, Zeracanian spices. Not a speck of magic. Care to tell me what you're up to? I would rather show you, but you must wait a bit. Color me intrigued. Fine, I'll wait. <laughs> then shoo, outside. Gonna slip into something more comfortable? Later. Let's not get ahead of ourselves. Well, go on, out. You've been patient, thank you. It's almost ready. Huh? If I wanted to see white mice, I'd just get drunk. Note that I said almost. Now don't interrupt. The cane's been capable. third mouse. What happened to it? The spell has a 66.67% chance of success. I always use one more than I need, just in case. So where did... Kira, can I explain what's going on here? Know the fairy tale about Cinderella? Mm-hmm. True story it's based on, too. A zoogle cropped up in a palace pond and ate Princess Cinderella whole, left behind one slipper, so... I beg you, not another word about zoogles. Now to return to the fairy tale. I'd like to escape these ghastly swamps for one magical night. I don't need a fairy godmother, I'll cast the spells myself. But I could use a Prince Charming. It just so happens you're the only decent candidate in all Velen. So, what do you say to a moonlight ride on horseback? And dinner? I'm a witcher, not a gigolo. <laughs> don't flatter yourself. I don't want to shag you in the bushes, but to share a pleasant evening. But if no, then no. Oh, all right. I'll do it. I feel honored. Truly. Before we go, there's one more thing. Gotta transform a pumpkin into a carriage? No. I shall transform our rancid rags into something more glamorous. Don't wince. It'll only be an illusion, won't hurt a bit. And at dawn, everything will return to normal. Why not? Might as well go all out. Then hold on tight. Gavella Glan. So, what do you think? Neckline too modest? It's just right. Oh, I might also have changed your hair color while I was at it. I've always fancied dark-haired men. Oh well, any port in a storm. Well, off we go. Dinner's waiting. Last one there does the dishes.
Whoa, Cinderella. We all have a great fall. <laughs> as fast as you can. Try to catch me. Congratulations. You'd make an excellent jockey. If only I were a foot shorter and five stone lighter. Well, yes. But then I'd not have invited you here. Now do you see why I needed those substances? Beef and cinnamon and cloves, roasted capon with shallots. It was worth the trouble. Shall I pour the white or the... Dry red. But let it breathe a little first. Well, well. Never took you for a wine connoisseur. Think witchers suck the marrow out of drowner bones and wash it down with puddle water? More or less. Well, we've chatted long enough on empty stomachs. Let's dig in. Must have cost you a small fortune. Sure you don't need me to pitch in? Please, I manage. You know, a dozen eggs here, a cock or gander there. Besides, my finances are about to improve. All right, I'm curious. We celebrating something? Yes, a return to the living. But that's not what I wish to discuss. Thank you once again, Geralt, for your help with the tower. You were fabulous. Not the first curse I've lifted. But among the most difficult, correct? What happened on that island? Why I shiver at the thought, and the laboratory. I sincerely hope you burnt everything. The cages, the corpses, the papers. Didn't destroy that workshop, if that's what you're asking. Didn't see any reason to. If Alexander's findings were to fall into the wrong hands. Although, Fike Isle has a terrible reputation. None even dare go there. Perhaps there's nothing to worry about. <laughs> I'm sorry. Such a gloomy subject to broach. I simply shouldn't have, not during our romantic dinner. Romantic? Thought we came here as friends. Friends. With benefits. So? Your fairy tale, your rules. Really? Then close your eyes and count to ten. One, two, three, four... All right, that's enough. Kira, want to play hide and seek? Why not? Skirt. Guess we're playing hunt the hare, not hide and seek. Good. Won't have to fumble with fasteners. Hmm. Shame. Could have kept her shoes on. that Cinderella gone to? Found me. Congratulations. Do I get a prize? I have nothing on me. But I'll think of something. <laughs> 
Know what they call that constellation in Zeracania? Dragon something, I bet. <laughs> no. It has a different name. A bit indecent, actually. Lean closer and I'll whisper it in your ear. Ekvain Navi. Kira? Where? Put me to sleep with a spell. Means she's up to something. Ah, Fike Isle. The tower. Light. Top floor of the tower. So, found what you were looking for? Yes, thanks for asking. How are you feeling? Sleep well? You used me. Oh, please. I merely seized an opportunity. If I'd known you just wanted Alexander's notes, I'd never have helped you lift the curse from Fike Isle. All right. Perhaps I wasn't completely honest. Didn't quite toe the line. But I knew you'd manage. You're so manly and all. Geralty Poo. Wipe that frown off your face. Or I might think you don't like me anymore. Didn't come here to play games. I want to know what you're up to. Naturally, you suspect me of the worst. 
I don't deserve that. My intentions are pure, like a virgin's tears. Alexander was studying the Catriona Plague. I'll use his notes to produce medication, perhaps a cure, or at least a vaccine. Mm -hmm. Strictly humanitarian motivations, is that it? No, nope, strictly selfish ones. The mighty would pay willingly for such a remedy. Can you imagine how much? Take Radovid, for instance. Why, he might even consider forgetting my past associations with the Lodge. You're either incredibly gullible, or you're trying to play me again. Whatever do you mean? Radovid has one objective. To defeat Emir. Curing Catriona, stopping the plague, won't help him do that. So he'll either burn you at the stake with those notes among the kindling, or he'll make you use them to create a weapon. Don't be ridiculous. Bacteria cannot be controlled. Not yet. But it's possible in theory, isn't it? In theory, it's just as possible for a Dachshund to impregnate a she-wolf. I don't have time to debate this, Geralt. I'm going to see Radovid whether you like it or not. So you're fine assisting in genocide. That doesn't strike you as incredibly wrong, really? I can't believe we fucked. Yen won't either when I tell her. Or Triss. Sorry, lost track of who you're currently obsessed with. We're done talking, Geralt. Get out of my sight. Fine. Farewell, Kira. Here's hoping Radovid rolls out the red carpet for you. Shove your sarcasm up your ass. So the worst scum flows into nowhere. Hey, hey, Sorceresses, oh. their debauchery putting force. Lord! 
guardsmen outside Triss's house. Not good. But I paid in advance, the entire month. You did, but you paid the old price. The risks are greater now and... I'm out of coin. But you got something else, dear. Give us a necklace and get out of here. Stop. I'll take it off myself. Sorry. Didn't know if you wanted me to interfere. I didn't. Their behavior, disgusting, I know. But they deserved the necklace. They risked a lot just by sheltering me. I was worried about you. Cities crawling with hunters. I know. We had everything in place. We were ready to sail. But the hunters moved faster. They locked all the gates, placed guards at every corner, all in one night. Then they started searching the city, street by street, house by house. They stop anyone who seems even slightly suspicious. Mostly it's common folk with rabbit's foot charms or lucky horseshoes. But sometimes they get it right. Arrest actual mages. High time you forgot about your fellow mages. Saved yourself instead. Would you abandon Vesemir? Eskel? Lambert? Leave them behind just to save your own skin? I understand you're worried about me. But I can't just pack up and leave them all. I know what awaits those who fall into the hunter's hands. How can I help? Everything's falling apart. I don't know where to start. I should get all the mages to the docks as soon as possible. Get them on board this ship. But Berthold and Anise have yet to show up at the meeting point. Berthold and Anise. Who are they? A young couple. He's an alchemist. Had a practice in Gildorf. She studied at Aratusa. I'm worried the people who hit them might have turned them in. See? My hosts weren't all bad. Won't be easy getting to the port. Lots of guardsmen in the streets. So we won't take the streets? In case of trouble, we were all to meet at the Kingfisher. There's a passage into the sewers from the cellar, and apparently those can get you all the way to the docks. I know the Novigrad sewers. Won't run into any hunters there, but that doesn't mean it'll be safe. That's why I'm asking you. I need you to find the way to the docks, clear the path for the others, and do it quickly. The hunters could figure out our plan any minute. Now you understand my predicament? <laughs> Help too and put all the others at risk. Or go straight to the Kingfisher, abandon the two to certain death. What do I do, Geralt? Can't risk everything, everyone, for two people. It's unwise and immoral. I was afraid you'd say that. Fine. Let's go to the Kingfisher.
time to end this. Have you checked the sewers beneath the Kingfisher? No. Didn't think we'd have to take that route. To think a year ago, guardsmen bowed to mages they passed in the street. Now we have to flee the city like rats. You could stay. You'd manage it somehow. The others will never make it without me. A patrol. We can't let them see us. They're gone. Come on. No guardsmen or hunters in sight. Everything seems in order. Or we're too late. Trish. Thanks be to Melitile. Anyone from the Silverton hideout make it? Odette, Kaspar, Dittmer, and Yana. Hagen? He... He won't be coming. Quickly, before someone comes in. We were so concerned. Right to be. Hunters were on my trail. Geralt, wait a minute. I need to see who made it. By the tears, my dear lady. You shouldn't worry yourself. It tarnishes your beauty. Guess you must have worried quite a bit. No, I was born ugly. You fleeing to Kavir too? No, but I am helping the others set off. You know me. Bleeding heart and all. <laughs> it only start bleeding now? They've been burning mages for months around here. But only since recently on this scale. Besides, I look forward to having friends in Kavir. Especially among King Tancred's entourage. Trace is about to speak. We'll talk later. We've waited long to escape. Till we could make sure Kavir will take us. Till we could acquire enough coin to hire a ship. Till we could find a captain we could trust. We've waited too long. There's no more time for hesitation. We must leave Novigrad today. This is madness. Hunters stand on every corner. So we'll get to the port through the sewers. Garrett will clear a safe path for us. They'll catch us anyway. You'll see. They'll catch us and kill us. Perhaps. In which case we'll die with dignity. Weapons in hand. Not tied to a stake begging for mercy. If the need arises, I'll defend you. You can also count on my help. Yes, the help of a Redanian spy, Radovid's right-hand man. That was long ago, sir. You raised that madman. You taught him to kill. You... This is no time to settle past scores. End of discussion. Gonna enter the sewers now. I'll signal when the path's clear. You follow my trail. And don't stray from it, no matter what. I will go with Geralt. You, Dijkstra, go to the port and see that everything's in order with the ship. On my way. We'll meet there. I hope. Triss, really want to go with me? No offense, but... Offense taken. Stop talking and lead the way. I swear. I'll drop magic for good. I can only bloody get out alive. You can't. You good luck. You've got Radovid and the church against you. They want...
Thanks for helping. No need to thank me, really. No, there is. You don't know how much it means. To have someone you can rely on in this fucking city. It's all right. It'll be over soon. Hmm. Soon. It. No way through. All is lost. Relax. Maybe there's another way. Where? The passage is straight as an arrow, not a single force. But listen, there's an echo behind the walls. I can feel air coming in through the cracks. So, something on the other side? Mm -hmm. Elven ruins, or an old forgotten cellar. Maybe we can get around the blockage through there. The library? Chris, found an exit. Oh, for a minute I actually thought we were doomed. Look! Gonzalo de Versace's poem. Jacob of Veraz's Rare. We'll come back for them later. No, we won't. I leave Novigrad today, remember? I remember. Just having a hard time coming to grips with it. Come on.
Stop. Hear that? What is it? Rats. Oh, my speciality, remember? You got nothing to fear. Depends how many there yeah, are. That's a lot. set in otherwise. Later, Geralt. Let's find a way to the port first. He's pale. Try it out. Wounds around the neck and shoulders. still lit. Died recently, from bites to the neck. A lesser vampire. Stay close to me.
source of income. Come on, let's go. the ship before the hunters learn what's happening. So long enough. Did you have time to look around? How's the ship? Creaky piece of junk. Woods rotting. Sails are prone to rip like an old pair of knickers. And the Will we make it to Kavir? Provided you don't run into any storms. I'll signal the others to come. Any help? Can I play the violin for you? Fetch some flowers or bonbons. Don't meddle in other people's lives. Sorry, I must. It's my profession. So, will you ask her to stay? Why do you even care? I adore love stories. Especially the ones that end happily ever after. Hunters! Hunters approaching! Board the ship! We want them alive! No time for courtesies, my dear. Get on board. One last farewell. Thank you. I'll never forget what you did for me. And what we had together. Stay with me. Carol, not this again. Especially not here. Not now. Miss Marigold! We got a sale! Please. We had our chance. But let it go. Let's try again. I don't have the strength to try. If I was sure it would work. Miss Mary Gold, we're casting off. Well, mate, at least you tried. 
A sorceress turned me down once. Want to hear the story? Go for it. What's the harm? As you know, my heart fluttered for Philippa Eilhart, back when we both served Redania. One day, I doused myself in fragrances like a whore in a heat wave, put on a pinstripe doublet, they make you look slimmer, you know, and I went to her, told her, Philippa, with so much in common, and so on. You know what she said? Pinstripes hadn't slimmed you down enough? No. She said she preferred women. So I drank myself stupid and went out whoring. There a moral in that story from me? No. An instruction. Just do what I did. Later, once we've spoken. Sure this is the right time, Siggy. Triss and I just... Spare me, Geralt. Which is a stripped of feeling. Not one emotion in that body of yours. And I have an urgent matter to discuss. Mm-hmm. And that is? What would you say? How many mages did we save? Altogether? Dunno. Didn't count. Thirty, maybe? Give or take a few? And how many would you say remain in the North? How many alchemists, healers, herbalists? Two thousand? Three? Doing a population count? Is that it? No, I'm concerned. In Novograd they had us, we were here. But who'll save those in Rimba, Banard, Ard Kareg, Gullet? You know damn well that daft bastard Radovid won't rest till he's killed them all. Every last one, Yennefer and Triss included. Moving as speeches go, now get to the point. Why are you telling me this? Because I want you to help me kill Radovid. You that concerned about the mages of the world? Expect me to believe that? Actually, yes. But not because I'm sensitive or it gives me a heartache, true. To my mind, this systemic persecution is foremost a symptom of a far more serious problem. A madman rules Redania. I served Vizimir, Radovid's father. Was his head of intelligence for more than two decades. Together, we transformed Redania. Made it the North's most powerful realm. Any idea what made it strong? Its armies, I'd wager. And you'd bloody lose, you idiot. Mass mobilization? Inciting peasants to take up their scythe, straighten them? Where's the art in that? Much harder to build a strong state with healthy commerce, manufacturing, solid alliances, progressive science, and fair, independent courts that hand down just judgments. Vizimir and I managed to do just that. Through years of fucking hard work, I will not sit on my hands as that little shit squanders that. Radovid the stern, my ass. Radovid the witless, I'd say. Will you help me, Geralt? I don't kill kings. Just not a regicide. Rumors to the contrary be damned. I know. I'm merely asking for your aid in organizing the assassination. Someone else will strike the blow. <sighs> Dijkstra. Might not have heard this, though I'd find that hard to believe. But witchers are neutral on principle, so... Oh, bollocks. That's a convenient excuse you lot try to hide behind every time the temperature rises. It's grown hot, my friend, and it grows hotter still. Pyres burn in every city. For majors, great and small, your female friends included. For non-humans, for witchers soon. Is that the North you espouse? The North you're prepared to live in? Silence. Cards close to your chest, I understand. To slay a king, it's not exactly some bloody necker contract. You think on this. Think on what I said. And if you conclude you'd rather change the course of history instead of riding its current to hell, you come find me. At the Passiflora, in the garret. I'll be waiting with my mates. I'll think about it. So long, Geralt.
terrible times. I've seen better. How can I be of service? Got some coin I'd like to convert into crowns. You've come to the right place. A better rate you'll not find anywhere in the city. Eternal fire, why me? By order of the Hierarch, whosoever conceals a mage in their home shall burn alongside him or her. Not a headache again. The curse that held Uma proved hard to lift, but Yenna 